everybody, this is Praxis, and I've only been working for about three hours, but I'm nearly done. I'm just about to bring up the last panel here. It's gone really, really smoothly, and that has been due to the fact that I really laid the groundwork yesterday for all this to go really quickly. Uh, if you recall, yesterday I was talking about trying to make sure that this uh, surface here was as close to a perfect rectangle as I possibly could get. Uh, it, you know, that seems like that's panning out, that it actually has been pretty close to a rectangle, because if you try to put these uh, rectangular pieces together, tessellating them across the top of something that's not a rectangle, uh, it, it starts going crazy, like, because, uh, you know, if one side's a little shorter, you start getting, like, kind of zigzag as you're trying to, like, match it. It can just make things go really bumpy. But it's been going really smoothly because I took so much care yesterday. And I want to talk about that today, that oftentimes, uh, you know, any given day when you're doing work, it's not so much dependent on what you're doing that day at that moment, but the groundwork that you've laid up to that. And that's what we talk about here on the prepping channel, uh, you know, the idea of emergency preparedness. It's not... You know, if you are doing well during an emergency event, it's not because of what you're doing necessarily at that exact moment, though those decisions are important as well, but it's because of the groundwork that you've laid leading up to that point. Another thing that I did to try to make it so that today would go really smoothly is that I measured and marked off where all these panels were supposed to go. Every time you're putting something up there, there's a little bit of an error in it. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, it might be a little bit uh, twisted. It might be a little bit uh, slid to the south, to the north, whatever. So um, I went up and I, I put marks at all the places where the panels were supposed to lay in. Uh, between this ridge and the ridge that I can't reach on the far side over there is 36 inches. That's three feet. Um, I don't know what that works out into metric, but it is, um, uh, it's a, a consistent three feet for every single panel from the top of this ridge to the top of that ridge. So I laid all that out uh, on the deck, you know, making little uh, pencil marks where the first rib was going to be, where the last rib was going to be, where all the other ribs were going to be. And then I went and I took a measurement between the top of the ridge and the edge here that's exactly one inch or, you know, essentially exactly one inch. So uh, to uh, the north side of all of my rib marks, I made another mark. So when I've been putting these panels up, I've been able to line up the edge of this panel with that line, and it's allowed me to just register things as I've been going so that, it, you know, if I get a little bit of an error in one panel, uh, you know, I, it, I'm not compounding that and multiplying it as I come across the roof. And I can see, you know, it's like, oh, I'm a little short. I'll pull this panel over to make sure that we're staying on track uh, for these marks because otherwise, once I put this piece up over here, if I had a bunch of, uh, everyone was slightly twisting, you know, let's say counterclockwise a little bit, by the time I get over here, it's like, oh no, now the panel's not, uh, you know, it's not straight anymore. So, uh, you know, that was the other thing that I did yesterday. It's made it go pretty smoothly and it really has. I think within about 10 or 15 minutes, I'll be done with this. I do need to put trim on the edges, trim on either end, and a trim piece up at the top that's going to have the water shed down the sides and off of the front. Uh, but otherwise, this thing is pretty much watertight now, and uh, it's really gone really quickly. And it's great because tomorrow we have a 100% chance of a ton of rain coming, so it'll be a good test for it. That's it. Thanks for watching.